Passage to India by E. M. Forster is not only a narrative of colonial India, but also a linguistic exploration that delves into the complexities of communication and language. Forster employs language as a tool to highlight the cultural and social chasms between the British colonizers and the native Indians, emphasizing the profound impact of linguistic differences on relationships and understanding. The novel unfolds against the backdrop of a diverse linguistic landscape, reflecting the multilingual and multicultural tapestry of India. The author skillfully navigates this linguistic diversity, capturing the cadence and nuances of various languages spoken by the characters. The use of language becomes a crucial thematic element, symbolizing the challenges of genuine communication across cultural and linguistic boundaries. One of the central instances highlighting the theme of language is the Marabar Caves incident. The eerie echo within the caves, distorting and mocking all sounds, serves as a metaphor for the miscommunication and misunderstanding that permeate the interactions between the British and Indians. The inability to articulate thoughts accurately, compounded by the echo's distortion, mirrors the broader struggle for meaningful dialogue in a colonial setting. The linguistic disparities between the colonizers and the colonized are evident in the novels. Portrayal of English as the language of power and authority. The British characters, entrenched in their superiority complex, often use language as a tool of control and dominance. This linguistic hierarchy reinforces the existing power dynamics, further alienating the Indians and contributing to the pervasive cultural divide. Dr. Aziz, the central character, embodies the linguistic clash as he navigates between English and his native languages. The novel explores the internal conflict he faces, torn between the expectations of the colonizers and his desire to express himself authentically. Aziz's linguistic struggles become emblematic of the broader challenges faced by Indians in asserting their cultural identity within the colonial framework. Forster also engages with the theme of language through the lens of names. The naming conventions in the novel reflect the power dynamics, with the British characters often simplifying or mispronouncing Indian names, reinforcing a sense of otherness. The mispronunciation of Aziz by the English characters becomes a recurring motif, symbolizing the larger issue of cultural insensitivity and the imposition of colonial norms. In conclusion, Passage to India goes beyond a mere exploration of colonial India. It intricately examines the theme of language as a reflection of power, control, and cultural clashes. Forster's masterful use of language serves as a mirror to the intricate dynamics of colonial relationships, highlighting the challenges of communication and the enduring consequences of linguistic disparities.